Hey guys, starting things off this morning, I got a cow that has a case of mastitis that I gotta treat. So I'll show you how we go about that in the robot. So first you enter a number, 420. That'll bring up our cow page. And then I wanna work with her in the robot. So go to AMS settings. commands and we want to enable trap and save and close so what that's gonna do is trap her in the robot and not milk her until I go down there and manually um, start up everything and when she's done milking it'll hold her because the robot's in manual, and then I can treat the quarter for mastitis. Okay, so here's our girl right here, 420. And you can see that she's trapped for 10 minutes, so you have 10 minutes to come deal with her, and it sends an alert to my phone saying that she's trapped. So you can see other cows that we've trapped for uh, various reasons. Usually they're the ones that uh, it can't attach to their udder very good. So we set traps for them so we can get it attached and they get milked out properly. So once we get it here, um, try to show you what goes on. No, no, hard to find a good angle for you guys. We'll see. So, this is the good thing about a D-Laval robot, is that you can do everything by hand. So, clean teats manually. Release this deal here. And then you can put it on there and clean the teeth. So the reason why I got it on manual like this is because I want to strip her into a strip cup to see if she still has any mastitis. And she had quite a few chunks the other day and I'm not seeing anything now. So we're good there. So now we can have it. So the other cool thing is you can attach the unit by hand just like you would in a parlor as well. So. Oh. Can't do this in the Laylee. So, rule of thumb in a robot is that you um, treat the computer before you treat the cow. So, um, three days ago is when we started treating this cow and I put her in there as a four day treatment. So I didn't have to enter that 
I don't have to enter it every single day I treat the cow. And usually about four days on Spectrum Mass clears up anything, sometimes less. And as you can see, milk destination is drain. So as soon as she's done milking, this will pump the milk on the floor and the whole system will go into a wash. So there's no worries about it going into the tank as long as you treat the computer first. So she's milking, we'll go see who's over here. Seven thirty. We haven't done our wash yet. So arms a little dirty. Found the teeth. It is amazing technology. So we'll see how seven thirty does. So you can bring up her individual cow page. That's settings. All right, so the blue line is where she is, and the red line is where the herd average is. So she's been milking for 384 days, so she's got a reason why she's below average in production. So, and you can see, if you go there, you can see yesterday she got milked three times, day before three times, and the day before that three times so she's definitely averaging three milkings a day and there was one time that she kicked it off a couple of days ago she didn't get milked out in the rear right quarter so lots of information from these things her mdi um that takes into effect if uh, conductivity or um if she like see how she didn't get milked out in that quarter and then the MDI is elevated the next time that she came in to milk. That was because there was some old milk left in that quarter. And uh, so, still don't know what everything is on these pages, but I'm figuring it out. And yeah, she's expected to give 21.1 pounds this milking. We've only been here for about a minute and a half and she's at 20. So she'll probably exceed expectation. And look at that. As each quart is done, it's coming off. Let's go back over to 420. And she's almost done, so we can treat her. Still haven't found what's the best camera angle you guys everything here is made out of stainless steel so i can't really attach see that i just dumped the milk in the floor and it's gonna set up for a wash cycle as soon as we're done here so i guess go like this so I think everybody knows how to treat some mastitis, but this is what I'm up to. So alcohol wipe, sterilize the end of the teeth. Just the tip, squirt it in. And then I like to rub Utter mint on the quarter afterwards. It's good for uh, any swelling, and they say that it'll stimulate blood flow, and the treatment will go through the quarter better. So I don't know if it's true, but it takes a minute. It smells really good. It's just a bunch of mint tree oil and stuff like that. So I'm sure makes her feel a little bit better so why not do it doesn't hurt anything so
So once she's been treated, we can put this thing back in the automatic and it's gonna spray tip dip on her. It's gonna flush out those and it should go into a wash cycle. When it dumps the milk, it kind of makes a mess. So get on here, like to wash it off. And you can hear it, it's shutting down for a wash cycle, so. And yep, you can see on the screen that it's in the second phase of the wash cycle right now. There we go. No danger of infection from cow to cow. No danger of milk going into the tank. And yeah, that's how we do it. I don't think D. Lavelle recommends treating cows in the robot, but talk to a lot of people that's what everybody does it's very convenient I'm a bigger guy I don't like to bend over so that's why I don't do it out in the headlocks and, you know. so I guess I milk a little bit of cows by hand like I used to but okay that's how we do it talk to you guys later Bye.